Tonight, police are still piecing together what led to the shooting that left one man dead and another critically injured. Good evening, I'm Mike Bush. Ann Allred has the night off. The shooting happened just before 2 this afternoon near the intersection of Lindell and Spring on the north side of the SLU campus. Our Robert Townsend is back in that area tonight with new information. Robert. Mike, tonight this well-known area is quiet and no longer a crime scene. SLU students cannot believe bullets rang out just feet away from their campus. On an ordinary day, many St. Louis University students would be on the move in Midtown St. Louis. Park down there and walk across spring uh, mm -hmm. every day. But Tuesday afternoon, Kellen Bloom and fellow students could not cross Spring Avenue near Lindo Boulevard because of a deadly shooting. Police blocked off the street after they found one man shot to death. Paramedics rushed another man to a hospital with critical injuries. SLU students were on campus for orientation week at the time. I think it's something that like obviously is sad for the that victim and his family, but then it's something also that the students um, as well, they have to walk out that door every day. And Police say the shooting survivor shot the man who died. Crime scene technicians took photos of this older model blue Jaguar. Its driver's side window was shot out. Shattered glass, a sandal, and several shell casings were in the street. The car's windshield wipers were still on when officers arrived. The deadly shooting happened just feet away from this off-campus apartment building. A SLU spokesman says the university immediately notified students and followed safety protocol. Anybody could have been walking through, right? There's students who walk in and out of that building all the time. And to think that it could have been any, any of us and just seeing that and been a part of it, it's just, it's not a good thought. It's crazy, it's sad, really. Um, but it's just kind of something sad to say that you kind of get used to living in the city. Hours after the shooting, police were still trying to determine if the two men knew each other. Uh, we're unsure. It's so early in the investigation right now. We're unsure of really what happened. Police tell us the two men were not SLU students. Now they questioned a woman whom they called a witness. We'll continue to follow this. Live in Midtown, I'm Robert Townsend. Five on your side.